Hello, in this video I want to quickly share with you the overclock settings that I'm using to mine Flux on the RTX 3080 GPU. The miner that I'm using is the Mini Z miner and with these overclock settings I'm achieving 86 to 88 solutions per second. So the overclock settings that I'm using is a core offset of plus 225, zero for the memory overclock because Flux is a lot less memory dependent compared to other algorithms which is the main reason why I am using this on my 3080 and a power limit here of 230 watts. Uh, moving over to the shell in a box here, you can see, of course, the flux hash rate does vary because of the flux algorithm, uh, but we're getting anywhere from 86. You can see here it dipped down to 85 for a second, and uh, yeah, we're hovering around that 86 power limit. Now, of course, the 3080 is nowhere near as efficient as, like, let's say, an RTX 2080 Ti on the flux algorithm, but the main reason I'm mining flux compared to Ethereum, which is the other alternative here, is because of the much lower memory temperatures. This here is a Hero Miner's kind of dashboard for a quick profitability comparison. You can enter in all your hash rates. It's very similar to what's mine, but they're pulling the statistics straight off of their mining pool, and that's why compared to like what's mine.com or the miner stat profitability calculator, flux on this one here actually shows up as the highest because they're pulling the accurate pool data including the parallel asset payouts uh, but yeah you can see the payouts are very similar and of course it fluctuates a lot which is kind of ridiculous uh, but let's say it's about the same a dollar fifty a day again the nice thing about mining flux compared to ethereum is those much lower memory temperatures so i would highly suggest if you are already mining flux on other rigs and you have a strategy for cashing that out it may be worth looking into swapping your 3080 over to mining flux because of these much lower memory temperatures anyways that's going to wrap up my video if you guys have any questions regarding the overclock settings for your RTX 3080 and what you're getting in terms of performance, you're more than welcome to leave a comment in the description. And again, the main thing I'm looking at here is efficiency, low temps, and a decent solution per second. But again, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to reach out in the comment section below. Bye-bye.